Judges chapter 8 paints an interesting picture of the judge Gideon and the children of Israel during the time of his reign. First, we see Gideon as a wise judge, working out differences between Ephraim and Israel. Next, he's a valiant warrior, relentlessly pursuing the kings of Midian. We even see Gideon's true humility as the Israelites try to make him their king. Gideon responded, I will not rule over you, nor will my son. The Lord will rule over you. But unfortunately, the story of Gideon doesn't end there. Although Gideon correctly said he didn't want to be king, his lifestyle became that of a king. He slowly added to his life a harem of wives and a concubine that bore him 70 sons. And when Gideon's life was over, we see the Israelites following the latter-day example of this once great ruler. In verse 33, we're told, as soon as Gideon died, the Israelites prostituted themselves by worshiping the images of Baal. They forgot the Lord their God, who had rescued them from all their enemies surrounding them. Nor did they show any loyalty to Gideon's family despite all the good he had done for Israel. How sad that a judge, once described as a mighty man of valor, would go down in Israel's history as someone who slipped from great heights of faith to a forgotten ruler plagued by shame. Gideon stumbled and he fell prey to success, riches, and prominence. And herein lies the warning for you and I today. It isn't enough just to begin well with God. As the Apostle Paul said, I press on to reach the end of the race and receive the heavenly prize for which God through Christ Jesus is calling us. Today, as we've observed the end of Gideon's life and service to the Lord, I hope you'll join me in praying this simple prayer. Lord, help us not to become discouraged by the race that we're in, but by your grace, press on toward the finish line.